December 15th. Jamie, Corey, great. Come help me move some papers from Sheriff Wells' office. A lot of papers and some other stuff, too. Come on, guys, let's get moving. Sheriff Wells' office? I thought we, uh, aren't like we not allowed to enter his office? You don't, you don't need to go inside. Just wait in the hall. I'll take it all out and you can help get it downstairs. I'll get some twine or something to tie up the stacks of folders. Sheriff Reed here? Yeah, we're waiting for her. She asked me and Jamie to come help with her. Hey, what's that? Mold? That? Oh yeah, that, that's black mold. Yeah, I can I can see it's black. Has it been there for long? You just noticing that? <laughs> you better not look at the ceiling in the dining hall. Well, it's all rotten from one end to the other. I always think the thing is gonna fall on me, like it's a race. Can I finish my sandwich before the ceiling finishes me? <coughs> oh, oh man, yeah. Can mold can mold cause coughing? It's bad for your health, right? Some kind of toxin or something? What? <laughs> Hardly. Oh man. Feels like I've been breathing in garbage. When was the last time we had repairs? Repair? Are you kidding? This place has been falling apart for 40 years. Hmm. How old is this building? 80 years? Hmm, uh, 122. <laughs> that old? Are you sure? You ever read the sign at the entrance? You think I'm the kind of person who reads dumb signs? Well, it's been right in front of your nose every morning for, like, how long you worked here? Eleven years? Going on thirteen. Thirteen years? And you never looked at the sign? Thirteen years and you never noticed the black mold on the ceiling. And I heard from your wife that for thirteen years you haven't, uh... Look, you want me to look at mold all these years? I don't even think it was there before. It used to be white mold. Now it's black. These are different types of fungus. When the temperature... Yeah, yeah, what's the fucking difference, black or white? I've never seen white mold before or black mold. And the floor didn't use to creak. Hmm. Maybe we have termites. I do not want to fall through the floor one day. Hey, you got a Bail. cigarette? Got a light? Uh, a light? Um, Sheriff Reed isn't going to be happy about smoking in the station. Uh, Sheriff Reed doesn't have to know everything, right? It's me. Yeah, already done. She agreed. Very. No, that won't be necessary. No, no, let Marino bring me everything in writing, then I'll do it myself. Yes. Excellent. You know what? That's a good reason to stay home. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's see. Need to get Percy some intelligence and then I can just dump him into the investigations every single day. All right, French for the troublemaker. And then do, do, do. whoever this guy is for fire hose.
Current Neck Time's headquarters is located out at the abandoned circus. In fact, they weren't even trying to hide. The place is so secluded, hidden deep in the forest, and the local steer cleared the place, haunted as it is by a tragic story. They put you in contact with Adriana Pousseau. She's a former clown. She'll tell you about what happened, and she can sketch a map of the area. Who could know the circus better than someone who lived and worked there? Plus, Major Davis Trix, a former colleague of Colonel Henderson, will be helping to identify the vulnerable points in the headquarters defenses. As far as we know, the majors and neckties have a personal score to settle. Got a couple of bucks. Buy all the boots. Buy one of everything. Buy some diesel fuel. Get some stun grenades. Pepper spray. Get a couple of those. And that should be good. Conducted a routine inspection of the plumbing and water pipes at your station. Didn't see any problems that my duct tape couldn't fix, but I noticed that your hot water pipes are like new. I get the feeling that nobody uses hot water at your station. There's no need to even have those pipes here. If you want, I can pull them out and take them to the scrap metal yard. Nobody will know a thing, and we'll both make some money. What do you think? Nah. 531 in progress. Elderly man wants to register his marriage to a Siberian cat. When the officer refused, he pulled a revolver from his pocket. Hmm. Looks like I don't have uh, Rodriguez or whatever his name is. I got Spurlock. Williams, these two, and Luna. Ten years ago, me and the guys came to Sharpwood on tour. Our magician Zoltan was always telling us what a beautiful lake you have here. At first, everything was really nice and the public couldn't get enough of us. But then a child disappeared in the city, one of the girls in a local boarding house, and the residents somehow got in their house that the police brothers killed her. All the people were taken into the forest to dig their own graves, and then they were lynched. I'm afraid I'll never forget that night. Can't see what's going on past the fence, but I can draw you a map. Okay. Nice. So, need an assault plan, get all the information available, and outfit the team. I'd like to keep an eye on my wife, ex-wife to be precise. It's true. Uh, he was the last time. Turns out the second. Da -da. Give me a drink. Okay, got it. I'll send Percy. If he dies, he dies. Drop the weapon. 531 complete. Criminal obeyed the cop and surrendered to the police. This cat had to be given to an animal sh shelter. Got some tuna. And maxed out. Oh no. He died. What a tragedy. 524 in progress. 
fight broke out at the book club meeting in Mrs. Patterson's house, whose turn it was to borrow a rare book. A man went up to pick went to pick up a roadside prostitute but became furious when he saw his daughter was there too. Okay. Strength. 524 complete. Cop managed to separate and arrest them. Alright. Got a TV. Max out your stealth. Get you strength. Get you speed. Get you strength. In progress. Noise complaint. Heavy blows to the window of our neighbor's house. Okay. Four, five. Okay. Use baton. Five thirty complete. Angry father fell to the ground. It was an easy prey for the police. Plus strength. Plus speed. Plus speed. Seven in progress. Bomb threat. Okay, this is a false alarm, so one, two, three. He does this like every couple of days. Married couple attacked their neighbor and an elderly man after he made a comment about how they mowed the hoo loudly at night. Alright, wait a couple of seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh. it is. Noise complaints. It was just a punching bag. Five fifty four in progress. Stole the TV and is dragging away on the sled. Okay, someone who has high speed, definitely. Speed and strength. Intelligence, shooting, and negotiation. And someone with stealth. Alright, and now just get a couple of people to finish off the gang. I was in the woods with the soldiers, and when we saw the circuit... Tent, but I gotta admit it, I panicked. I remember the clown from my childhood. Wouldn't have been able to handle it, but now I'm feeling better. We didn't have enough guys in the whole police station to take them out. I must have 20 people sitting in the main tent, and there's just as many surrounding in the surrounding area. When a deer came out, they all jumped up and started shooting. Uh, we need to proceed quietly and carefully. 
If you short out the generator, it'll catch it on fire and then everyone will dive in the flames. There's also barrels of fuel. If we cut holes, we can spread it and hopefully we get back out. All right. Gather intel. Gather intel. It's not night yet? Okay, give it a minute then. Alright, girl squad's back. Strain. Oh, cop of the power and arrested the woman. Seeing this, her husband didn't resist. The old man suffered quite an ordeal, but he'll live. Upgrade speed. Upgrade speed. Upgrade speed. 542 in progress. Uh, da -da -da. Offering extreme service at the water tower. So send... One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, got an example of everything except high strengths. Oop, mystery of the missing whatever. Troublemaker rolls out onto Gurney. Rushes towards the body of Alan Cross, who is lying on the road. Opens the morgue with a key. She stole the keys from the pathologist, made a plasticine mold, threw the keys under the table, and made a duplicate key from the cast. Then she opened the mortuary door with her key and stole Alan Cross's body so she could bury her beloved by herself without involving his hated family. All right. Man is ski man. Sk order him to stop. Use negotiation. Criminal obeyed and surrendered. Her old TV broke. Okay. TV found. Uh, lives in an apartment. Works in the prison administration. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh wait, you're worthless at night. And then the riddle. Man blasts the cartons of cigarettes with the fire hose. Catching up. There we go. Robert Gupta, a fireman and member of the Spanish Berserks gang. He attacked the cigarette truck under instructions from the gang. Serving as a witness, dines at the cafe. Hmm. Climb, use, uh, speed? Speed. Clop scrabbles up the stairs. Uh, sneak. Sneak? Sneak. 542 complete. Great. Plus speed. Eh, he's a bit for far away from being loyal. 
All right, fender caught. Great. Plus speed. Plus strength. A fender caught. Great. I hope you realize you have more problems than just getting arrested. That cargo that you destroyed belonged to Colonel Henderson. Yes, I heard about that clown in his uniform. They forced him to retire and now he imagines himself a great smuggler. We have been planning on taking him down a peg for a long time. But it's just a lucky coincidence that the truck belonged to him. Yes, you're a busy bunch. First a small-time drug dealer, then a liquor store, now a cigarette truck. What's next? You gonna raise the stakes? Let's put it this way. We're fighting not only with the sources of vice, but also those who have gone too deeply into their vice. Are you saying you're going to make some bad people suffer for their weaknesses? Sometimes sacrifices must be made so that your message can be truly heard. It's a good thing there's someone in our ranks who could accept this difficult mission. Criminal told you everything he knew. Someone set fire to a shed in the dump where some homeless people were spending the night. Several people burned to death. Wait, are you an alcoholic now? Investigated some of the witnesses and prepared a preliminary report. Secret of the Burning Barrel. Fire Inspector. Evidence found on site and the nature of the admission clearly indicates deliberate arson. The woodshed was doused with fuel then set on fire by someone throwing a Molotov cocktail into it. At the crime scene, there was an empty metal canister found containing traces of fuel. It seems like someone used this canister to douse the shed with fuel before setting it on fire. On the ground near the burnt down shed were some deep tire tracks from a substantial vehicle. God, it was terrible. I heard those poor people screaming, and I ran, but it was too late. The door was on fire and bolted shut, so I couldn't get close enough to open it. What kind of person burns people alive? The devil himself, nobody else. Although some people around here, they got so much hatred, the devil himself would be surprised. A few days ago, a farmer came to me on his tractor, said I should evict the vagrants who lived in that shack. He said they weren't, aren't good for nothing, and they make the air stink worse than any garbage. Imagine saying that about living people. I know those vagabonds by name. They were all decent people. They're just a little unlucky. And that self-satisfied jerk on his tractor, he made a much worse mess than they do with his huge wheels driving all around the shed. When I heard about the arson, I immediately thought of Ursula. She works at my station at night. I knew from the beginning that the girl might be a problem. She spent some time in prison for arson. Uh, some time of unknown disease. Tried to cover some debts. Plays blackjack. Feeling she solved the problem differently. Yeah, okay. It's obviously the farmer. If he dies, he dies. Hmm. 
You've got intelligence and negotiation, so I can just stick you on a desk. Worth. Okay, so that's one, two disloyal people. Okay, there we go. 